Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new Pokemon TC Live Temporal Forces deck video, and today we're going to look at the brand new Scovillain EX. I've been waiting for this card to come out for a while, and it might be one of the most annoying cards in the format right now. With this attack, Two-Headed Crushing, which does 140 damage. You can discard a random card from your opponent's hand and the top card of their deck. So obviously, removing resources is pretty darn good, but we can combine that attack with hand disruption cards like Judge to put your opponent to four cards and the item card Grabber, where you can... Um, take a Pokemon that you find in your opponent's hand and put it at the bottom of their deck, which decreases their hand size even more. Especially if you're playing against a deck, relying on rare candy, taking away their options with Grabber when combined with the effect of also then discarding a random card from their hand is really, really good. There's other cards like Eerie. Eerie allows you, of course, to get rid of two items in your opponent's hand. A very dirty card in our format right now, but Eerie is also really good in combination with with two-headed crushing and there's also roxanne which we can play at the end of the game when your opponent well not the end of the game but near the end of the game where your opponent you know take three prizes you can put your opponent to two cards and then maybe you can go grab her and if they have a pokemon and another card you can take the pokemon away and leave them with that one card that you can then discard with skull villain and of course there's also iono another hand disruption card more annoying stuff we got league headquarters Making it so basic Pokemon in play do need one color synergy more. With Ancient Box, you know, kind of on the rise right now, obviously Iron Hands being another big deck. Being able to limit your opponent's attacking options with League Headquarters makes this deck even more annoying. We're just throwing all the annoying cards in their face because we also got Crushing Hammer in the deck. We even got HP Modifiers. I've decided to play Hero's Cape as my ace spec in today's deck. So that Scovillain can have 360 HP, making it even harder to KO. Um, and maybe we get lucky, we Eerie, or we discard a Lost Vacuum, and then the Hero's Cape can't get discarded as easily. And then there's Rigid Man to give our uh, Scovillain a little bit more bulk. So like I said, we're throwing all the annoying cards at the opponent, and we're going to see what can stick with Scovillain today. Before we get in the video, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. Of course, if you're going to get any Pokemon TCG Live pack outs, get them over at Card Cavern Car Council's code line for the cheapest. So if you're looking for, of course, the main set right now, Temporal Forces, or you want to get an older set like Scarlet and Violet or 151, Paradox Rift, or some IRL singles and product card cabin sells all that over there if you can't think at card cabin at the checkout use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your order help the channel help yourself out and up our card cabin so shut a card cavern check them out use card ldf link down below also check out the second channel down below for some extra content we're on the road to 13 thousand subs on the second channel so if you haven't subbed to the second channel make sure you go check it out there should be a new video going out we're going to look at every deck that got day two at euic definitely do not want to miss out on that but here is my deck list for today's video as you can see we got a lot of disruption in the deck as i went over we are playing Bibble skullvit as our draw engine pretty good engine to play in this deck i don't think there's any reason not to play that uh, we got nine grass one earthen vessel uh we are playing a giovanni's charisma um it is a way to technically build up a skull villain in a single turn because the main issue with skull villain one of the main weaknesses it does suffer is it does require uh two energies so you have to attach attach to attack with it and that could be annoying, and that's why Giovanni's Charisma can be nice to get the energy back into play um, with its effect. And it also puts the uh, energy off of your opponent's active Pokemon. It synergizes nicely with Crushing Hammer and League Headquarters and even Scovillain's attack. Maybe you can discard the energy, making it harder for them to attack you. Now, Scovillain does have one other cool trait. Its first attack isn't bad either. Chili Snapper Bind. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned, and then during your opponent's next turn, they can't retreat. Being able to retreat lock your opponent can be pretty annoying, and it does give you some win cons. The downside is you do get to burn your opponent, which means eventually you will knock them out. But if you're late in the game and your opponent doesn't have a lot of cards left in the deck, sometimes you can chili snapper them and then deck them out with two-headed crushing. There are some lines you can take with that first attack, making Scovillain even more annoying. Now, we are playing Team Devo. Scovillain is a grass type, which is phenomenal. Being a grass type is one of the best things about this card. But unfortunately, it only does 140, which is not enough to kill Charizard. Now, we can, of course, play something like the super effective glasses or the maximum belt in the deck to one-shot Charizard, but I've decided to play a bit of a slower approach with this deck. We can actually play into TM Devo. Sometimes we can run the opponent out of rare candies, especially if we're spamming Eeries and, you know, get lucky with the two-headed crushing. We can make it so that... We also have Crushing Hammer, by the way, but you can also make it so that you make it so your opponent just can't get any evolutions back out and you TM Devo them. I like the TM Devo a little bit more for the Charizard matchup though. I definitely wouldn't hate maybe just playing super effective glasses, but you want to be a little cautious against Charizard. Once you KO one Charizard, Charizard can go maximum belt and one shot your Scovillain. So you have to be mindful of that. But let's go show off Scovillain on TC Live, see in action and show off how annoying this can be. All right, get in this game. We open up with a turn one uh, that's pretty good in all honesty. Judge, Grabber, Buddy Buddy Poffin, 
We're up against a Lost Zone deck. I don't think we're playing against Tina. Uh, we'll see what kind of Lost Box deck this is. Well, Buddy Buddy for these two. I don't know if they're playing Sable's Art or not. It might be better to just get a second Bidoof. Yeah, screw it. They could hit me with, like, an Iron Bundle or something. I don't know. Should I grab her here? I feel like in this matchup, Grabber's... I Actually, it's not bad, but I feel like we want to save it for later on. Put the energy there. They could spit. I'm kind of... I mean, I get, a, I get to look at their hand, which I guess is cool. I don't think it really matters, though. Um, no, I'll just save it. I, I don't think it really matters, because, like, they probably don't have... I mean, they could have Greninja. I don't know. It, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I think it's better to save Grabber for, like, later on in the game. Especially in the late game. Playing it early feels useless. Like, yeah, there's no point. See, they just have Nest Ball. They're probably going to have a Buddy Buddy Poffin, too. Yeah, there's no point of playing Grabber. It feels like it's pretty useless in this matchup. In the early stages. In the late game, it's good. Judge Iono Grabber could be deadly. Especially if my opponent's trying to chain attackers. Could be good. We'll see. The only benefit I get is I get to see if they had a Chloris. So, like, if, if I knew they had a Chloris, I would have put the energy on the active... Because I might not be able to get the skill villain here, but we'll see. Okay, looks like they're playing a lost box. It could be a Radiant Charizard, actually. They didn't grab a Radiant Greninja with that Nest Ball. It's either Prize or they're playing the Radiant Charizard build, which is not a good matchup because Radiant Charizard is a fire Pokemon. This is kind of where the grabbers could be good, and they just pass. See, this is, like, kind of sketchy. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take a peek at their hand now. Now I get some knowledge... Water, Jet. Okay, they are playing Radiant Greninja, and they have a dead hand. So we know they're playing Greninja, so now we can grab Manaphy in peace. Uh, I don't really want to bench Skullvit, but I kind of have to to draw cards. I have to judge them, which I really do not like, but I got to go for it because I got to draw cards. And unfortunately, we do not get what I'm looking for. Yikes. No Bibberol, no Skullvillain, not even an Energy, which is also bad. Yikes. I just gave them four new cards. They probably got a Colrus. Ooh, a Beach Core? Yo, free real estate. That's huge. If they whip the knockout, that's huge. See, that, that was the correct time to play Grabber. Because I actually wanted the hand knowledge, right? I wanted to see what they had in their hand there. And it paid off. Jet energy. Yeah. Because that was like the one... Because I actually wanted to know what they were playing. They pass? Yo, free real estate? Yo, give me a Scoville and energy, please. Uh, Okay. Uh, judge, I guess. I mean, they're, the problem with judging them over and over in this situation is I'm going to give him a Chorus eventually. No, I didn't get to go villain, bro. Dude, that's annoying. I was really hoping I was going to get it there. Damn, bro. Where's my freaking evolutions at? I got to hurry up. They're going to get a Sableye, and then I'm going to get, like, completely farmed. This is ridiculous. I could skull it. It's going to pass. I mean, if worse comes to worse, we'll just, like, eerie. Ah, this sucks, bro. This is actually... The fact that we haven't found Skull Villain is terrible. Yeah, and there it is. Yeah, I knew I was going to give him a Colrus eventually if I kept judging them. Oh, my God. This is so annoying, bro. How have I not found a Skull Villain yet? Ridiculous. Not even a Bibberol. I can't even draw cards. This is, this is absurd. This is why Judge sometimes is a bad supporter. Okay, Mirage Gate's good. I mean, if I top deck Skull Villain here... So if they go spit kill Capsica Kid, I'm tempted to just go Eerie. Well, actually, I'd need another Capsica Kid because they we run the risk of getting, like, Roaring Mooned. This is just really bad. They could Iron Hands me this turn, which would be pretty bad. This is not good. I desperately need to draw into a Skull Villain or Bibberol or something. There's Sableye. So that's a problem, too. It's not good. Not good. Not good. Having this weak setup, especially because they had a slow setup, is so annoying. Like, actually, just, like, come on, TCG Live. You got to do this to me today with the bad draws? Really? Okay. Hopefully, draw something good here. Okay, there we go. We finally got a Bibs. Okay, I don't really want to Iono. Well, nah, we'll Iono. It's fine. I need to draw a lot of cards here. Might as well Iono. There's no reason not to. I was thinking of Irene there. But I'm like, if I, yeah, see, if I don't get what I'm looking for, we are in trouble. Could KO the Sableye here, actually. I think that might be the play, actually. I don't want them to Sableye me next turn. This actually is probably a good opportunity to just knock out Sableye. I don't really care about the Cram. It's doing, like, 90 damage. Who cares? Yeah, might as well just take out Sableye. It is the biggest threat on the board right now. 
Nice. The Leak Headquarters and a second Bibber. Okay, now things are spicing up. Uh, I'm going to hold the hangs. I have Ultra Ball and Grass Energy for his Capsule Kid. Nice. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see what we're going to mill with this attack. What do we discard in mill? Let's see it. Okay, that's actually not bad. Okay, that was that. The top deck discard was not good, but the hand discard was decent, especially because we bumped the beach court there. That was pretty good, actually. Optimal, maybe? We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, KO and the Sableye was really important because that thing was going to be a threat, especially because we weren't able to get set up quick enough. That Sableye was going to wreck me. Iron Bundle. Okay, honestly, yeah, have my, have my skull fit. It's like Sableye food later on in the game. I actually don't care if you KO it. You can have it. You can have it if you want. Yeah, I don't want this thing in play anymore. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna get Sableye. -ed. So, and they only play one Sableye too. A lot of lists only play one Sableye, one Psychic, and they're down both of them. So they have to find Super Odd. So we'll see. But they did loss on one earlier on in the game. Yeah, they're just gonna. No, they're not cramming me yet. They're comfing. If they do have Sableye here, this is a little awkward. Um, we'll see. They have a five card hand. They haven't played a Colrus yet. They mill. Ooh, Roxanne, that's a really good card. Okay, nice. Prime Catcher, oh no. Ooh, they're going after my Manaphy here. Interesting. Okay, I am actually fine with this, because now if I set up Double Skull Villain, this isn't as relevant. Okay, that's fine. And unfortunately, Cramorant, anyone, for anyone about to comment, Cramorant does by bypass League Headquarters due to the ability, if you're wondering why my opponent was able to do that. That's fine. We can grab ourselves another Skull Villain. Gotta find Super Rod, maybe. I actually don't really want to judge them here. They didn't really... I was actually a good turn to Eerie. Hmm, they can get into for two prizes. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can dig for Eerie here. I'm not gonna bench it. Nice, let's go. First card. Insane. Oh, oh, oh. What's in their hand? Oh, they have TM Devo? Ooh, hopefully we mill that, actually. Now I'm hoping we get rid of the TM Devo. Okay, this is huge. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Yeah, we want to get rid of TM Devo here, if possible. Cool. All right, here we go. Let's get rid of this TM Devo. That is a very terrifying card. Please. No, the Buddy Poffin. Oh, but we hit a Roaring Moon. Yo, that's insane. Okay, let's go. Bad hand discard, a good top deck discard. Look at that. We got Hero's Cape. That could help us, actually, against the uh, TM Devo. All right, that's pretty good. We know they have a dead hand, too, now. Yo, let's go. That was a really good Eerie. That was a clutch Eerie. It's a very clutch Eerie. Mirage Gate. Nice. They have two left now. Yeah, the, the Roaring Moon discard, along with the Super Odd Eerie discard, is huge. Because Roaring Moon is the only way they can one-shot this. Because they don't play uh, Charizard. This is pretty good. This is pretty, pretty good. There's Nest Ball. Do they have anything in the deck that can attack? They have a Raikou. They need three energy for that. Well, that's pretty good. Okay, that was a pretty good uh, couple flower selects. They need three energy on the Raikou, though, to get rid of this League Headquarters. Or, yeah, they have, to, they have to do a lot here. The Raikou's kind of annoying, but, like, whatever. The thing I am scared of, like I said, is that TM Devolution. I mean, we know it's in their hand. That thing is terrifying. Let's see. It's unlikely they can attack. They need a Stadium, a Mirage Gate, and a Switch. Yeah, they don't have it. So, I think we're just going to go... Uh, I'm trying to think. Do I want to play the Hero's Cape? I might save it. Okay, well, I'm going to... We need a two-shot this thing. Might as well boss it. We'll boss the Raikou. I'm not going to bother judging them. I still want to hit this TM Devo. I was just it here. Okay, screw it. We'll, we'll play the Cape. I'm going to do a little bit of digging. kind of want to find Super Odd to get Manaphy back. I mean, I don't need Manaphy, to be fair, but eh, maybe I don't need Manaphy, actually. It's fine. Grabber. Ooh, we get to see their hand. This is... No! Dang it, there's no Pokemon. They potentially have the Raikou attack. Oh, well, they're down two Lightnings, actually. They probably don't have the Raikou attack. Okay, if we can hit Mirage Gate or TM Devo, that'd be huge. Should I bench this Capsa Kid? I don't want them to be able to take two prizes here with... Raining Greninja, but I think we'll bench it, because it's unlikely they Greninja me, especially with the Raikou being stuck in the eye. I'm just going to say they don't got it like that, so. And we're just going to pray that we dodge the Greninja next turn, because I don't want to give up two prizes. 
I guess I could have put a hero's cape on a capsule kid. Water. No, we didn't. Another buddy. I don't need to mill that. Stop it. Okay, we mill the water energy, which is good. I was hoping to mill the mirage gate or that TM Devo. And the buddy poffin top deck is also terrible. That is not what I wanted to discard. That card is useless for my opponent. That's helping them. Oh, boy. All right. Milling the water is good because it's not like a big Greninja. Okay, we're definitely not getting Greninja. Can they even attack? They need a lot still. We know they don't have much going on in their hand. We know they have that counter catcher in hand, though, which we have to be mindful of. That would be another good card to mill, actually, because I don't want them to stall Bibberl. Colrus gets lost zoned. Interesting. And they pass the turn. All right. What do we top deck? Another grabber. Okay, we might as well play it. Uh, do we want to put that at the bottom of the deck? It doesn't really matter, right? They have a lot of items in their hand. Jeez. Might wait on the energy attachment because... I have a feeling they're going for a counter catcher stall next turn on Bibberol. That's their best plan, so I want to play around it. Super Odd is pretty good. Got Iono. I honestly think we just let him keep the hand. They have a lot of good cards in the hand. We might as well just like try to get something here. Counter catcher, TM Devo. Mirage Gate, I'll take it. Oh, in the Greninja, let's go. Honestly, I kind of forgot to Ultra Ball there for um. I kind of forgot to Ultra Ball, but we did. We do have Giovanni, so I didn't really want to get rid of anything, but I should have Ultra Ball for another skill villain. We got lucky we hit the Greninja off the top deck there because they're going to counter catch or bring in Bibberol. But now I can go Giovanni plus Retreat, potentially. No way they can Greninja. I mean, this is looking pretty grim for my opponent. At this point, we might just deck him out. They put Greninja in the energies back. Yikes. We did hit that Mirage Gate. They only have one Mirage Gate left in the deck, and... They're going to use it, most likely. Okay, they got Stadium. Can they chain together and attack this turn with three cards? Unlikely. Even if they Colrus, they're going to get close to decking out. If I just keep spamming Skull Villain. Okay, sure. Like I said, they're getting close to decking out. It might not matter. Okay, now I'm regretting not getting the third Skull Villain because they are... Well, actually, can they Greninja? They're out of Super Rod, actually. Can they even do the Greninja? Do they even have enough energy to do it? Do, do they? No, they don't. Yeah, they can't Greninja here, so we're chilling. Okay, now we should be... Yeah, okay, okay, this game's basically over. We win, because we're going to deck him out, most likely. Um. Oh, wait, I just have a game with Iono! <laughs> what? Yo, that's crazy, bro, I just win with Iono! <laughs> Yo, that is lit, bro! Oh my god, let's go! <laughs> I don't think I've ever won the game with an Iono before. That's pretty funny. I've come close. Come very close. That is actually insane that we won with Iono. I think it's an arc deck. Ooh, this could be a tough matchup. All right, well, luckily our hand isn't bad. Uh, we don't think we're to Giovanni, I think. I wish we had a Bidoof here or something, but I do have a couple things I can do. I can attach, play down League Headquarters, and pass. Because now we can make it harder for my opponent to attack. Because if they get a double turbo, they can't use it because of the League Headquarters. So we might as well play that. Honestly... Isn't terrible. This matchup could be tough because they have our, our Giratina V-Star, which can one-shot Villain, and that's kind of annoying. So, ooh, maybe it's not Arctina, though. Is it Arc Charizard? Oh, my God, it is. Okay, well, that's not ideal either. Well, maybe it is because Charizard's weak to grass. It's fine. Arceus is an annoying attacker to have in the matchup, though, for my opponent, but it's fine. Crushing Hammer is good, so maybe it's okay. We have a decent hand for next turn. We can go Judge Villain and figure it out. All right, let's see we top deck here. I'm hoping for Betty Buddy Poffin. Oh, bro called it. Let's go. All right, I should check my prizes. Uh, Bibberl, one Bibberl's prized. Rip. One Skull Villain's prized. Rip. Eerie. We have all of our hammers. Grabber's in the deck. Evo. Grabber would actually be really good to get off this judge because I can potentially remove an Arceus V-Star from my opponent's hand, which I would like to do. Okay, I might as well just put that there or whatever. All right, Judge. Hoping for Grabber. No. Crushing Hammer is good, though. I will take that. I guess we'll... Actually, I should maybe save for Charizard. Tails, anyways. I'll save for Charizard. Dang it. I was hoping to get a Grabber. But we could get lucky and get a good hit here. Let's see. What do we discard with this attack? Rare Candy's pretty good. And an Energy. All right, all right. Decent. I'll take it. I'll take it. They probably still sacked the, the Arceus V-Star off this, unfortunately. But we'll see. That's why I want a Grabber. Because I can take the potential stage two away. Getting rid of rare candy is really good, especially when we have TM Devolution waiting in the woodworks. 
Need to get a Bibbrel, though. That's the thing. But they got nothing this turn. We can keep on chilling and keep on trying to set up with uh, our board here. So we'll see what's up. Okay, there's a Nest Ball. Do they play Rodom? I had no way you played Rodom with RST. It doesn't make any sense. Probably another Charmander. Delphox! Whoa! Nah, that's not good. No way. Okay, they can't one-shot me, but that's really annoying because it's a Fire Pokemon. Okay, they still can't do their attack here, which is good. Because the League Headquarters stops RCS from being able to do this, which is pretty funny. Delphox is so annoying, though. They would be playing that. That is not a great card for us to see. I don't think we're judging them. Unless they have a supporter. They have a boss. Okay, that is really annoying. Now I have to retreat my Bidoof. I can leave him in top deck mode, though, if I can draw an energy or a switch. I ain't trying to judge him. Yeah, it sucks. That's a really annoying boss. Okay, let's see what our top deck is. Well, I definitely don't want to judge. Uh. Hmm. I think we try to get a hammerhead here. Okay, so now if they have an energy in their hand, they can't just, like, charge this thing up. And pass. I could judge, because I could get the combo with, like, grabber and stuff, but... I mean, they're in top deck mode. I'll just let it be. Whatever. If they draw out of this, they draw out of this. Yeah, they don't got it. All right, come on. Give me a good top deck here. Okay. I, I mean, I say okay. It's not great, but... Oh, I should, I should probably get Manaphy. Kind of forgot about the stupid Delphox. Should I do Skorvet? Honestly, now it might be okay to go for the the Judge. So if I get Bibberol, Skorvet... But if I whiff, we get, like, really punished for this. They could have drawn, like, an Ultra Ball, right? I'll wait one more turn. I'll wait one more turn. I don't... I, see, I don't, I don't know, man. That boss was really annoying. That was, like, a really good boss. Okay, three cards. And a pass. All right. You just give me a top deck. Okay, that's Manaphy. I do need that. I'll pass. Okay, maybe next turn we'll judge. They might, they're gonna draw something though. I, I have a bad feeling they're gonna get something off this top deck though. Just the only issue. The one good thing with doing Delphox though is if my opponent uses Delphox, yeah, oh, they're gonna judge me, bro. Okay. All right, bet. It's Delphox removes energy from play, so we can run them out of energy that way. Okay, we got Countercatcher. We actually might go after the Delphox next turn then if they get Arceus, which they do. Dang it, bro. That sucks they had to boss me. <laughs> Sucks the boss actually worked. Oh my god, they would have a boss. Sucks to suck, but we got Judge, Countercatcher. We can try to Countercatcher the Delphox up and hit it, which is maybe what I'll do. We'll see what happens. This thing is kind of a threat. It can't one-shot Skull Villain. It's just really annoying. Honestly, the confusion is kind of annoying too. I don't know. This is like not what we want to be seeing when we're playing against Charizard as a freaking Delphox V. Then get Arceus here, double turbo. We can kill the Arceus, though, with Skull Villain. And maybe maybe I just do that, honestly, knock out the Arceus. I don't know. Because if we're trying to run them out of resources, it wouldn't be a terrible idea if they went Delphox in. Maybe I do that. I don't know. We'll see what's up. Do I even want to judge? They have, they'll have a two-card hand at the end of the turn. I actually don't even know if I want to judge them. Hmm, I kind of have to, though, right? Okay, we'll see what happens. My opponent's got Rare Candy. Oh, so they're going into Pidgeot. Okay, all right, I see. That's fine. Like I said, we do have TM Devo, which I should probably check. I actually don't know if it's in the deck. Okay, whatever. We'll see. Like I said, they have a one-card hand. They have the Pidgey on play, so the one-card hand doesn't really matter anymore. So I guess we're safe to judge, actually. Okay. Do they have a double turbo? They do. Like I said, though, this League Headquarters is slowing them down a little bit. They have... I don't know. I think we just knock out this Arceus. I honestly could knock out the Charmander... It's not a bad idea either. Count Charmander doesn't seem terrible either. I don't hate that. I'm not really... I, I feel like we just kill the Arceus. It is the biggest threat on the board right now. Yeah, I think we're just going to kill Arceus. They only got two energy. Yeah, see, my opponent doesn't have a lot of energy. So I'm, I'm like, chilling. Especially if my opponent somehow doesn't grow the stadium. Yeah, I'll just knock out this Arceus. The Arceus is, like, the biggest threat right now. I'll knock it out. I'm cool with it. Should I Buddy Poffin? Grab another Capsa Kid. No, I'm just going to judge. I might want to get b back into play. Okay, no energy. No. 
Okay, well, that's annoying. All right, I guess we'll bench Capsa Kid after all. All right, let's go Knockout. Hopefully get some good cards here. Nest Ball is okay. Boss is decent. Okay, I'll take it. All right. Hopefully we get Bibber off the prizes. Nope. Energy School Villain is actually really good. That's ideal. Okay. So this isn't bad. My opponent, see, the problem is now they can go Delphox. They can actually do their first attack against me and confuse me and force me to find a switch. We'll see what they got. They have very limited cards to work with, so we'll see what's up. I haven't found a grabber yet, which is annoying. I haven't... Yeah, where's my grabbers? I have four in the deck. I gotta find a grabber. It would have been good... If we grabbered them there, we could have, you know... And they had a Charizard in their hand. We get rid of it, right? It's unfortunate. We'll see what happens. We run them out of rare candy, so there is a world where we can, like, go for the potential TM Devo, and they have nothing left. And honestly, like I said, if they want to go Delphox, it's fine, because Delphox is limited to what it can do. It can't one-shot me. We have Manaphy in play, and they have to get rid of two energy in order to use the attack. And the energy goes away forever. On top of that. They've only played four fires, though. No, five fires. Six energy have been played so far. We've, we still have our hammers, too. We still have one hammer, I think, actually. Do they have our candies are? They probably do. They probably do. Judge is a lie. Yep. That's our third candy gone. So, like I said, TM Devo's looking spicy. Could Eerie next turn. Uh, there's no way they have another candy in their hand. This is why I want to grab her. I want to see their hand, too. I want to see what they have. How much energy is in the deck? They only put one on the Delphox. I'm kind of interested to see how much energy they have. Yeah, they have plenty of it. I knew it. That's annoying. Cats. Eight energy. Nine with the double turbo. And they have a research. Bro, they hit all that off of my um, judge. Alrighty then. Sure. I know they had Pidgeot, but that's a little annoying. They are trying to switch. Skullvillain's first attack does find them from being able to retreat, which is kind of important, too, in this matchup. That could be another win con, actually. Even though we do uh, burn them, it's still, like, okay to slow them down a little bit. Oh, they're going to go Charizard. Okay. I'm surprised. Honestly, I kind of feel like it actually was correct to go Delphox. Just use the first attack. I'm fine with this. Okay. They can't come with Vacuum, which is good, so. Uh, do we just Eerie here? I'm actually low-key down to just Eerie. Kind of down, yeah. We can rock sand next turn. Okay, let's Eerie. Nice. That's their last rare candy. Let's go. They have Iono and Buddy Poffin. All right. That's their last rare candy. That is humongous. If we can hit this last boss, that'd be fantastic, too. I'll take an Iono. I'll take another Iono. All right, all right, all right. That was pretty good. Two Ionos. They're out of rare candy. TM Devo go burr. Let's go. All right, all right. I'm feeling it, feeling it. That's good. That's good. Optimal hits. Then we have the Roxanne. They might Iono me, but we'll see. We do have Roxanne next turn. We get to play, which is huge. That was a really good Eerie. They're out of rare candy. Now we can try to play into TM Devo at some point. All right, we'll see what's up. All right, just a knockout. Not even the Iono getting played. I mean, they still have the Pidgeot. So, like, the Roxanne's not insanely good here, but it is nice to have. I wonder, honestly, I wonder if we should just TM Devo now. If we can, well, I can't because I got the Rigid Band on. We'll wait to TM Devo, I think. We do get Counter Catcher. We can Counter Catcher Pidgeot up. So I can knock it out. I can bring in the Delphox and hit it. What would be better, actually? Hit the Pidgeot so I can knock it out. So I can take two prizes when I do Team Devo and then I just knock this out for a game. Sure. All right, Roxanne. Hoping for energy. Nice. Oh, we got it. Got Bip Roll, too. Finally got the big roll. Need to find super odd. So let's grab her. Arceus, sure. No, they have maximum belt. Oh, wait, we get rid of what am I saying? We're discarding it. Now see, now you see why grabber is good. Because now they can't knock me out next turn. They had the stupid grabber. I need uh, whatever, I'm trolling. Alright. Let's just nest dash again. Okay, cool. Alright, we know they have grabber, we know or maximum belt, we know it's gone. I'm actually trolling saying no, they have maximum belt. Here to these two. I need to check if we have TM Devo. Okay, it is in the deck. All right, good. We do need TM Devo to win this game, so let's do that and get rid of that grab or maximum belt. And hopefully, the top deck's also going to be a good discard. Let's see it. Manaphy, that's completely useless. Whatever. 
And like, if they have Pidgeot, it doesn't matter too much, but the Maxim Belt is humongous. That would have made it very easy for my opponent to win this game. Thank heavens that is gone. Whew. That was a good hit there with that Scovillain. That was a good hit. They drew Nest Ball. That's fine. Yeah, see, now you see why Grabber's so good. Because it increases the odds of hitting good cards off Scovillain's attack. And it paid off, which is nice. It ended up paying off for us. Yeah, that Maxim Belt is, like, actually a huge discard. They're out of her candy. They're down their Maxim Belt. It's looking pretty good, but we're still... It's it's a, not an uphill battle, but we still got a bit of a, bit of a ways to go. All right. They're going to Pidgeot for a supporter. The question is, what supporter are they grabbing? Iono or Research? No way they play two Research. No way you can fit that. Okay, apparently they can fit it. All right, whatever. We'll Iono them. We need an Iono TM Devo here, I think. That's the plan. Super Rod, sure. Doesn't really matter. They can get it. The one thing I'm worried about is Charmeleon. Um, that makes things a little sketchy. That's like the one thing I'm scared of is Charmeleon. Honestly, though, if they go Charizard, we can just knock out Charizard and then just counter catch her for game. Honestly, that might just be the win con. We might not even need to do TM Devo. Even though we did run them out of our candies, I don't even know if we need the TM Devo. Because we can just win the game by just going knockout, knockout on these two things. Maybe that's just how we win, honestly. That might just be it. Bleak Headquarters don't play. I'm surprised they haven't played a vacuum or stadium yet. It was important not to kill Charizard there, too, because I don't want to give my opponent access to being able to, like, knock out Scoville and if they had another play. There's the Charmeleon. Like I said, I'm a little scared of that. It's fine. We can maybe still run them out of resources. Hmm. Yeah, now... Uh, yeah, I definitely still want to go for TM Devo, maybe. We'll see. Honestly, it might just be a, a knockout, knockout situation. That I think that's just the win con at this point. All right, let's see what they do. What will they go into? The Delphox or the Charizard? Delphox it is. All right. Are they going to... They can't attack with Magical Fire. That's the Eerie Glow. Which is still annoying, like I said. I would rather them not have a Delphox, but here we are. Oh, they have a Double Turbo. Well, like I said, they're not, it's not, they're not knocking me out this turn, so it doesn't really matter too much that they're doing this. It's fine. Now I think now I think we do want to go for the TM Devo. They can just get rid of that double turbo, right? Yeah, it's annoying. Okay, the fact that they play Del Fox is just ridiculous. Like it's so annoying. Alright, well, let's see if we can get the TM Devo play here. That's ideally what we're looking for. We'll see. Let's do some digging. We got Grabber. I'll take it. Arceus, sure. Arvin and Boss in hand. Interesting. All right, but we'll school it. Boss. What am I going to play that, actually, and take two prizes? We theoretically could still lose this game. Okay, we got the TM Devo. Uh, I have to retreat, though. Retreat. TM Devo. Take the two prizes. We know they have an Arvin in hand, but they're out of rare candies, like I said. We have boss in hand, but they can confuse me. Oh, Stealth Fox is so annoying. Stealth Fox actually sucks. We need switch. Switch would be so good here. I don't want them to confuse me. I think we gotta go for it. Don't have Giovanni anymore, which is pretty bad. Yeah. Guard for earlier on in the game. All right, here we go. Team Devo. They might, honestly, they might just magical fire me again, which is kind of what I'm hoping they do, to be honest. Okay, let's do this. They could boss. No, if they boss Scovillain, we just have game in hand. Actually, I kind of hope they boss Scovillain and knock it out. Okay, what's our prizes? Okay, the other Bibberol League Headquarters is good. See, the problem is, though, they can confuse me. That's the only thing that makes this tough. But I can spread the energy out one-to-one. -one. That's probably what I'll do. We have time to win this game, I think. As long as they're not playing, like, something weird like Canceling Clone, which I doubt it. All right. So the thing I'm scared of, too, yeah, the Charmeleon is pretty bad, right? That does let them get Charizard back out, which is not good. But this is where, like, Iono plus Grabber could come up. We'll see what they got. They go for the Confusion. I could just go for the Attack. I don't know. 
We need to kill the Charmeleon. That's the plan. I want to kill Charmeleon. Yeah, they're just going to do their first attack, dude. This Delphox is so annoyed. This would be a super winnable game if they weren't playing Delphox V, dude. Actually, so troll. So troll. I have no switch combo. Oh, I, mean, I actually might lose to this Delphox, not going to lie. This thing actually is going to win my opponent of the game. It's ridiculous. Yep, there it is. Eerie Glow, of course. The confusion. So annoying. That's why I didn't want to retreat, but I had to. So silly. Do I just go for the attack? If I kill the Charmeleon, it's not going to matter too much. I think we need to just hand disrupt them here, to be honest. We can do our first attack against the Delphox. It's not going to do anything, though. I think we have to just go for the attack on the Delphox and try to hand disrupt them. It's my only play. I could go for the Charmeleon, but they have the Charizard in hand. I think I got to go for that. Okay, we got Judge. It's not what I'm looking for. Let's see if we can maybe hit something better. No. I'll burn this. Let me check what I have left in my deck. Super Rod, Grabber. Okay, so I do want to get Grabber here if possible, actually. Yeah, I want to get Grabber here if possible. Grabber with Charizard. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we got the Grabber. Do they have Charizard in hand? Nope. No, what they have, what the stupid judge gave them like everything they needed. All right, well, here we go. We need this to flip heads in order to have a chance. Wow, we're actually going to lose this game, dude, because of this Delphox, bro. Oh, my God. You know what? Maybe I should just kill that Charizard on that turn, honestly. I maybe should have just killed that Charizard when we had the chance. This is actually ridiculous. This, We ran them out of Vercanies. We TM Devoed their Pidgeon Charizard away. But we're going to lose the game because of a random Delphox V, dude. Because the stupid confusion actually bodies us. This is absurd. If I flipped heads there, yeah, I think we just lose. Unless I can, like, run them out of energy still. It is maybe possible to flip heads on Hammer. There's still a dream, but, like, dude, this is not looking good, man. That was <laughs> the freaking Delphox, bro. They we might have to just try to stall Charmander or something. I don't know. This is so bad. Okay, we can maybe bring in the Delphox. This is rough. I think my only win con now is to try to stall. No, they're going to get rid of my counter catcher anyways, of course. Okay, we got Super Rod. We can play that to get back energy and a Scovillain. So I can go Scovillain here. A fresh Scovillain doesn't really matter at this point, though. That's crazy. The fact that we actually might lose this game is wild. We did, like... Dude, everything went well for us, too. How much energy have they played? It's five, seven, eight, nine. It doesn't matter if I go this guy. We just might as well go the Scovillain. It doesn't really make a difference. Because I probably need to Bibberol. Yeah. We need to get Counter Catcher here. Shuffling the deck. We need to find Counter Catcher. It's my only win con. It's not it. Oh, God. I need Counter Catcher Energy. Okay. We did not... Okay, we got Boss Energy. That works. Okay. This is my, this is my only win con. This is my only win con. I got to hope they don't have a, a second Switch in the deck. I don't know if they play two Switch. If they have it, they have it. They have a DTE still. We could be cooked. We just gotta hope they don't have a way to move Delphox here and we can win this game. If they have no way, if they're, we just had to hope they're out of resources. I, that's all I can do. This is my only, my only option is to do this. My last resort. If they have no way to move Delphox, we have a win con. But if they can confuse me, we're gonna lose. So this is not looking good. This Delphox actually just farmed me. This Delphox, we actually, should I have brought in the Charmander? They could... Maybe I should have brought in Charmander. But what if they have a second Charmeleon, though? 
I'm like second guessing myself. Bringing in Arceus is huge too, though. If they bench Arceus here, I could bring that in. I don't know. Maybe it was better to bring in Charmander because they can't heat tackle because the rigid band's on, but they could have a vacuum. I just don't know what's in their list. I don't know. It's not. This is like my only. My, this is my desperate play. I gotta go for the stall tech. We have the league headquarters for next turn, but if we get confused, it's just not good. But I can. F do I have switch still? I don't know if I switch energy in the deck still. I honestly don't know if I do have that, but if it's in there, we have a chance. I don't know if they're playing switch or not. That's like my only thing is that they're playing switch. We lose if they have a switch. Okay, this pass. That's good. Could attack them. No, we don't attack here. I'm going to save the League Headquarters. We just keep up the first attack. Should I counter? Should I really counter catch the Charmander, though? Because they can't attack me. However, if they have a Charmeleon in the deck, we do lose the game. Because then they can retreat into Charizard. They need Charmeleon energy, right? No way they play two Charmeleons. Because this thing can't do any damage to me. Wait, is it after weakness? After? Oh, they could still do 30. Okay, so yeah, we have to stall the Delphox. Never mind. We do have to stall the Delphox. We might be able to knock it out eventually, though, with the burn damage. Nice. They stay burned. That's good. That's really good. They're staying burned. They just need to not have a switch in the deck. If they uh, We're close. They're, the burn damage is really relevant here. We're close to winning this. I need them to not have a switch. I just don't know what their list looks like. Those Charizard ladder decks, bro, are crazy. Second Supra would be pretty bad, too. Here we go. Let's see what they got. They got nothing. They If they stay burned... Okay, nice. Let's see. Flip heads. Dang it. All right. We do have a KO next turn. So we have game next turn. So, oh my god, huge crushing hammer. If that flips heads, we can get the energy off the Charizard. Yo, let's go. Do we get rid of the energy on the Charizard or the active? I think we deny the uh, the bench, right? Because if they have a switch, we will... I think we just do that and just play it safe. Okay. We have game next turn. If my opponent does not have an energy or a switch, well, now they have to have an energy, but that doesn't give them the win. So, all right, this is my only out. They need to not have an energy now, which I don't know if they do. They can't win with switch now. They need switch energy now to win the game. That was a big hammer flip. This is why we play hammers. Oh, this is so cool. We have game. We have game. If my opponent does not do anything here, we do win the game because we can knock out Del Fox with uh, two-headed crushing. Ultra Ball? All right, they're playing, but I don't I don't know what Ultra Ball is going to do for them. If only they had that Arceus in play. Oh, they could have evolved in the V-Star. I lied. Actually, you know, it would have been bad. Oh, boy. This is stressful, folks. There's the V. We got it. Let's go. It's knockout, right? Yes. Let's go. Holy close game. That's crazy. We could have decked them out, too, if they went down to one card, obviously. Um, that was a really, that was a great game. I cannot believe we actually pulled through there. I didn't think we were winning that game. That switch was prized. Hey, we need to play two switch in this deck. We need to put a second switch in here. I'm not sure where we're cutting. Second switch is good. That was a great match. That Del Fox is so annoying, but we ended up winning anyways because Scovillain's first attack is the most clutch thing on the planet. There you have, folks. That is my Scovillain EX deck in action. I had a lot of fun playing this deck in today's video. It's a lot of fun to just sit there and just cripple your opponent's setup with two-headed crushing. Removing cards in their hand and the top of the deck is very fun to do. It's very fun to just see what you end up hitting. The deck was a lot better than I expected. We even went through the trials against an Arceus V-Star Charizard deck with a Delphox V, which was really bad for us, but we ended up pulling through. The League Headquarters actually MVP'd us, and I also want to say Eerie MVP'd. Honestly, every card in the deck pulled its weight in today's video only thing i would maybe change about the list i think we should play a second switch i don't know what to cut but a second switch is 100 
something we should play. But that'll be it for me on my Skull Villain deck. Hope you all enjoyed the video and enjoyed those two matches. Pretty satisfying wins there. Very clutch win against Charizard. Very cool win against Lost Box. I own win them to deck them out was kind of cool. But that'll be it for me. If you all enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 59,000 subs. We're on the road to 60k slash 100k. So make sure to subscribe down below if you enjoyed um, and all that good stuff. And uh, check out Carcrime if you get any codes. Use code LDF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, the Shovel Squad, and the second channel down below. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and bye-bye.